Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and thanks for stopping by and watching. So this is the second spray paint art video in the beginners tutorial series and in this one I'm going to be showing you how different caps spray out from skinny ones to fat ones. Also I'll be showing you what the difference is between a female spray can and a male spray can. I'll also explain what the difference is between high and low pressure spray cans. So I hope you all enjoy watching this video and find it helpful and if so give it a thumbs up and please share with friends and family or anyone that you may think would be interested in learning this form of art. And also if you're a new visitor to my channel and like what you see then please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future spray paint art videos. Right first up I'm going to show you the difference between male and female spray cans. So the female spray can has no little tube sticking out of the can, just like this one here. So this is a female spray can and this will take male caps which have the tube inside the cap, like this cap does. Can you see the tube in the middle of the cap there? All you have to do then is put it on top of there and press down lightly. Whereas a male spray can has a little tube built into the can like this one. So it can only take female caps which have a hole on the underside of the cap for the little tube to go in. Like this one here. Can you see the hole there in the middle? Then all you have to do is put the cap onto the stem and press down lightly. So with that explained I'll move on to showing you how all these different caps spray like. All the caps I'm going to be showing you are all male caps. I'll be trying out 18 different caps spread over 3 different sheets as they won't all fit on the same table together. But later on in the video I'll show you them all lined up so you can see how all the different caps sprayed out. So I've set it out like this so you can see the name of each cap. I will spray each one in the column under the cap name. All the columns are 4 inches wide so you can see how wide each cap sprays a line out. I'll be using Montana White for this cap test which has a high pressure valve system. This is going to be the paint I'm going to be using throughout this series as it's more closer to over the counter spray paint in pressure wise than the low pressure paint is. So first up I'll run through each cap with you. So the first one is a Montana Level 1 Ultra Skinny Cap. Then the Montana Level 2 Fine Skinny Cap. Then the Montana Level 3 Skinny Cap. Then the Montana Level 4 Soft Fat Cap. Then the Montana Level 5 Fat Cap. Then the Montana Level 6 Ultra Fat Cap. Then the Montana Gold Stock Cap. This comes as stock with the Montana Gold cans. Then the Montana Black Stock Orange Dot Fat Cap. This comes as stock with the Montana Black cans. Then the Montana White Stock Level 3 Medium Cap. This comes as stock with the Montana white cans. Then the Montana outline cap. Then the Montana needle cap. Then the Montana New York fat cap. Then the Montana skinny white beige dot. Then the Montana Skinny McLean Cap, White Grey Dot. Then the Montana Standard Cap, Black White Dot. Then the Montana Fat Cap, White Orange Dot. Then the Montana Fat Cap, White Pink Dot. 
and last the Montana flapjack cap medium. So they're all the caps I'm going to be testing out in this cap test. Right then, I'll just move these two sheets out of the way first. And we'll do the first sheet. So first up, I'm going to be showing you the level 1 ultra skinny cap. So I'll put each cap on and I'm going to spray a bit of paint through to pull the paint through the cap before I spray it on the sheet. So the level one. So now on to the level two fine skinny cap. Now on to the level three skinny cap. Now on to the level four soft cap. Now on to the level 5 fat cap. Now on to the level 6 ultra fat cap. So with them done I'll move on to the next sheet. I'll just put this to one side. Now on to the next sheet. So first up is a Montana Gold Stock Cap. This comes standard on the gold cans. Now the Montana Black Stock Orange Dot Fat Cap. This comes standard on the Montana Black Cans. Now the Montana White Stock Cap Level 3 Medium. This comes as stock cap on the Montana White. Now the Montana Outline Cap. Now the Montana Needle Cap. And the Montana New York Fat Cap. Right then, I'll just sit this one to one side now. I'll move on to the next sheet. So next up is a Montana Skinny Cap, white beige dot. And up next is a Montana Skinny McLean, white grey dot. Up next is a Montana Standard Cap, black white dot. Up next is a Montana Fat Cap, white and orange. And then the next one is a Montana Fat Cap, white, pink dot. And the last one is a Montana Flat Jet Cap, medium. I forgot to mention that the flat jet cap medium sprays two different ways. So I'll just put that there and I'll show you. You can also turn it so it sprays like this. Like that. So you can have two different lines from the same cap. So as you can see after I've tried out all the caps that some spray a lot of paint on wide lines and others are more thinner and finer line. For instance the level 456 caps and the outline cap 
of fat caps which spray a huge amount of paint out and have wide lines. These caps and the other fat caps are better for doing larger paintings or filling in gaps faster. Whereas the level 1, 2, 3, gold, McLean, standard and white beige dot are skinny caps which have thinner lines and let a lot less paint out which are better for doing smaller paintings and filling in smaller gaps. Where the needle cap let a huge amount of paint out which was pooling as I sprayed a line out. In my eyes this wouldn't be that good for small paintings but may work good for larger paintings. Whereas a flat jet medium cap can be used to make a thin line or a wide line. It depends which way you hold the spray can to which way the line comes out. As you saw when I was testing the cap out. And finally the Montana White Stock Cap Level 3 Medium is the cap I'll be using throughout the series. Which is in between a skinny and a fat cap. These are just a few of the different caps you can buy. But there are many more available. It's just finding one that suits you best for the paintings you are doing. Also, one thing to keep in mind is when spraying, the closer you get to your painting, the thinner the lines will be. And the further away you are, the bigger they'll get. I was about 4 inches from the card when I tested out all the caps. I prefer to use skinny caps over fat caps for spray paint art, as it gives you more control where the paint goes and lets a lot less paint out so you don't use as much and the cans last longer. Right, moving on from caps, I'll explain the difference between high and low pressure spray cans. So the high pressure cans have the highest output volume, and will eject the paint through the cap at a faster rate, therefore covering areas a lot faster, and they are also cheaper than the low pressure cans. You could can achieve detail work and paint a smaller area with this type of pressure, it may just take a bit of practice getting used to it and a bit of experience in can control. Whereas the low pressure cans cost a little more than other paints but have the lowest output volume of all spray paint and ejects the paint with less force through the cap giving the user more control to create details, effects and fine lines. And furthermore there's a big difference in pressure between the low pressure cans and the pressure which you gain over the counter hardware store bought spray paint. So for instance the Montana White that I'm going to be using in this tutorial series is a high pressure spray paint whereas the Montana Gold is a low pressure spray paint. So I hope you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful and if so give it a thumbs up and please share with friends and family or anyone that you think may be interested in learning this form of art. And also, if you're a new visitor to my channel, and like what you see, then please hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on future videos in the series. And also, coming up in the next video in the series, I'll be showing you how to make texture by using different items and different ways from things found around the house. So once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day. Take care and bye for now.